G'day fellow YouTubers, Lifestyles and Friends. I for Williams trailer, tipping trailer, fantastic trailer, absolutely think it's the bee's knee. So I'm just gonna run through a couple of the modifications that I've done to it personally. The first tip I'm gonna share is this plate here. I've done a shorts video on this and the reason I came up with this is because originally we had the hydraulic tank is behind this plate. But when you buy one of these trailers, plate is a lot smaller and the hydraulic tank is visible from the front. So what occurred to me was a stone came from the bottom of the vehicle and it came up, it hit the tank and then it cracked it. The hydraulic fluid leaked out, it no longer tipped. So I had to get a new tank. What I will do is I will do the dimensions of this, where all the holes are and do like a sketch of that plate. So if you want to go out and get one made yourself. So back in this direction again. So here's another tip for you. If you have a flat battery on your trailer, then to enable you to get to the battery, what you've got to do is you've got to tip this up by hand to be able to get to the battery to be able to charge it. That wasn't good enough. What I've done is I've put a cable through. I'll show you. Here we go. So first of all, let's tip it up so we can see the underside. <laughs> Always make sure that you put your support in place when you're working underneath it. So to make it easier for myself, I've put some flexible conduit here. I've run a positive and a negative wire through and I've connected obviously to the battery. They go through to here, they then go into this flexible hose. Then that then comes through here and there's a hole that's already in place under the side here, hopefully you can see that, there's not going to be any wear or vibration movement that's going to actually cut the into the positive and short it out or anything else. I'll show you the close up inside this box and what's inside here. So here is that front box and what we have in here is, this is obviously the controller which tips the trailer and everything else and you know controls that. And then there, here comes that flexible ducting. I've used some heat shrink material and then got the positive and negative wires and then that connects into this. This comes as a standard, it's a CTEC charging connector and then you've got the fuse in there and everything else, that all comes apart and I've just connected that into the positive and negative terminals there. And then all you need to do is if you need to charge it, you just literally drop this plug into there and then you can charge up your battery without having to tip uh, to actually hydraulically lift it or use the old guns to get this uh, pumped up because the hydraulics won't work with the flat battery. Anyway, so that's another improvement that I've done and it saved myself ages. Even if you're not gonna do any tipping, you can leave that in like a pulse mode that continually keeps it topped up so that when you do come to use it, you just disconnect it, take it away, you know you've got a full battery. Another good modification, I haven't done it on this one yet, but it will be good to have, is the ability to be able to put this at a set distance with some form of mechanism and a chain that holds it at that. So if I'm tipping gravel or I'm tipping sand or whatever else, it's a set distance that will slowly release it rather than tipping the whole thing out when it slides down and comes out. I think that would be a good modification. I haven't done it yet, like I say, but I will do. I'll put an update on the channel once I've done it. Trays for the ramps come as standard. You can buy the optional ramps, which obviously this one has. Fantastic, you just slide them out. So if you want to wheel something into the back of your trailer, you can do that. If you want to put a dig on there or something you can and if you're going to put something heavy onto the trailer then you have these back struts I'll just show you them quickly these aren't modifications these come as standard as well so these are the back struts and all they do is if you're putting a digger on the back for instance a little wee digger pull the pin out rotate it 90 degrees put it in insert your pin back in there just wind down this strap till it hits the floor it will just support the back while you put it on. Fantastic idea, great, great to have it on board and a good safety feature as well. I would put some hazard tape on here or something so that you don't forget, so you check your load just before you drive off. And here we have the ramps in place. So you can just literally space them out anywhere you want. You've got a flat bar which they hook over. So you can put one in between here, for instance, but obviously this is preventing you from putting them anywhere else. But they just literally lift off and there's like a lug that fits over the back. Very handy. So 
So here's another thing that I got made up, which was the tarp to go over the top of the trailer. So if I need to go and pick something up that I need to keep dry uh, or over a long distance, because I'm not sure of the weather, this is a great thing to have. I'll just open it up so you can see some of the additional parts that are required to make it marry up with the trailer and to prevent it piercing through. I've just opened it up and you'll notice these white parts. These are like hard plastic pieces that are required because they're like the wear points on the top of the trailer. They have them on the back here. There's the back here. I'll show you this. This is for the actual hook that enables you to leave the top part of the tailgate open and it hooks in place but that sticks proud at the top. And you've got the center pieces which are where it will rub and there's also pins and then you've got a couple that are on the very front edge here and here so what I'll do is I will fit it there's the top part which will be a protection piece uh, which will have the hard plastic on you've got these pins here which stick proud and there's got to be a piece that will actually cover that to prevent it piercing through you've got the back part here which is obviously you want something there to uh, reduce the sort of wear and tear on it and then if you see here this is the actual can you see that that part there is the actual hook that when i put the tailgate and hold it up that locks it in place so it doesn't vibrate up and down when you're driving so hopefully you can see that yeah okay here we go yeah, so the, that's the last. You don't want that sticking up through your tarp because that will, that will just cut through it in seconds. Just quickly before I fit this tarp, one thing I would, I'm looking into is potentially something that will hook onto these front bars and hook onto that middle bar and cover this area here. The reason I say that, when it rains, it pulls and it sags here because there's nowhere for the water to go. The same with the second one. But if you had that some sort of grill or something that you can fit across here and on the back one, then it would prevent it from sagging so much. It would still have that thing, but it would prevent it from sagging so much. Every time it sags with all that weight of water, it's putting stress on the bungees that secure it, plus all of these corners where you've got that hard plastic. It would be advisable to go down and just tip it slightly just to get the water off the top and then take it back down. So there we go, there's part one. I've just thrown it over the top, got it all nice and even all the way around. See if I can lift this up and get you a good. What I tend to do is secure the back and zip it up tight first on the back before you do the rest of pulled it all the way up. You've got all this nice and secure and tight, then you can do the front and the sides. So let's do that now. So here we go. Just secure the bottom there on the little wee hooks that's on there. So again, through the top one, next one down through the top one, next one down through the top one, the bottom one goes through the bottom and then you tie it off. Like so. Now we can just go around and secure the front and secure the sides. So just underneath the bottom. And easy and the last one just hooked onto a nut on the back and there we have a nice tight secure up that we can tow along with uh, anything inside to keep it dry and it's just absolutely fantastic we do have on the back a um, couple of velcro straps so you can roll this up there we go there's one buckle and there's a strap on the inside which that attaches to so you can effectively unclip this back roll it up and you can velcro it rolled up uh, sorry you can buckle it up rolled up so that you can see in the back absolutely fantastic trailer use it all the time great for going to the tip you can just load it up with the tip drive to the tip go into the pit 
and just tip it. Different things that I've, modifications I've done, proved handy for yourself. Before I forget, what I'll do is I'll put the diagram on here where it's got the actual dimensions of that plate and all the holes, where they are, the sizes, etc. So if you want to go and get your own one made up, you can do so. Thanks very much, everyone. Take care.